listening to The Impact. My name is Len, and I'm sitting here with Tone and Cece of Little Hurricane. First off, welcome, guys. Hi. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thanks for coming. Thank you. It's always fun to get bands in here in the studio. You guys met on Craigslist, I see. We yeah. sure did. <laughs> so can you talk a little bit about that? Cece had an ad up there looking for musicians, and I was looking for drummers, so I was looking for uh, drummers who weren't in bands already in uh we're looking for new projects and uh, came across her YouTube video. She had of her welling on this electronic drum kit. And I was like, well, that's different and cool and unique. Uh, so I wrote her. She lived a few blocks away from me and uh, started jamming, writing songs. And here we are in Lansing. Yeah, it's pretty unique just to have like a female drummer. Did you consider that when you were no, looking not, at her video and stuff? Not at all. But I mean, I wasn't opposed to it. I just, you don't come across that many. So I thought it was rare and cool. You probably get that a lot. I yeah, think. but I tend to meet a lot of other female drummers on the road or like people like me who played when they were a kid and always wanted to get back into it. So um, I hadn't always played the drums, but I definitely encourage all women to. It's a great instrument for a woman to play, I think. You know, you could take some aggression out. <laughs> so you guys clearly connected musically, but um, outside of music, do you guys share any similar passions? Hmm. Like eating food. Yeah. Um, <laughs> good food, I mean. <laughs> Uh, we were both in jazz band in high school, so that's kind of the, our, our similar musical background. Uh, mm -hmm. Any, like, I feel like most musicians, like, outside of music, they have, like, these arts that they're connected to as well. Are either of you artists on the side? or um, Culinary artists, I guess. I went to culinary school, and I cooked uh, most of my life, so that was sort of the art form that I released my passion through before. Um, I don't cook as much now, but I'm a terrible like artist when it comes to drawing or painting <laughs> or anything of that form. Yeah, me too. I'm not very good at that. <laughs> <laughs> so you go by Tone and Cece. Were those nicknames that um, you've had your whole life or after you met or how did that work out? Um, well, mine came from my, my birth name is Celeste, and as a child, I had a speech impediment and couldn't say my own name, um, so I could say Cece, you know, and um, so I was called that as a kid by my family members, and then when I got older, I have a lot of nieces and nephews, and they also had a hard time saying Celeste, so Cece kind of came back around again, and it sort of worked. It's a little easier to say from stage, and people can kind of understand, although they think I'm saying Stacy a lot, which it's not Stacy, it's... CC. <laughs> uh, tone is just short for Tony. Uh, one less syllable. That's where I got that from. <laughs> uh, I saw you guys play a couple years ago at Lollapalooza. Okay. And um, I remember thinking, like, wow, you guys are two people, but you have, like, a really big sound. And so how do you guys fill the space? Or I don't know if space is even the right word for it. Yeah, definite space, you know. I mean, yeah, it's a lot to... When, when people are just watching two people on stage... I think it's good to make as much noise as you can. So when it comes to the drums, I generally hit them as hard as I can. She hits them real hard. Um, you know, I sing a little to help fill in. Um, and then Tone has some tricks with his guitar, you know, to make a bigger sound. Turn it up, yeah. Make a lot of noise. It's, uh, and I think the songs we write, we kind of just try to fill up where there would be other instruments, like a mm -hmm. uh, second guitar or bass, or try to like play as much as I can. And same with CC as well. As far as your sound, I've heard it described multiple different genres. So how do you guys describe your sound? Dirty blues. Dirty blues, yeah. Dirty blues. That's what you stick to? Yeah, it's That's blues, but for. just grimier, you know, more rock, um, but still with that kind of that blues structure to it. Mm -hmm. So you've also played not only in Lollapalooza, but also at South by Southwest. Um, so what is it like playing big festivals versus playing inside at some of the more intimate venues? Um, it's a little more hectic on stage and, you know, you're out in the sun and sometimes that affects the sound, I think, playing outside in general. But uh, the crowds tend to be more excited, I think. They're generally bigger crowds for those bigger festivals, which is really a lot of fun. Um, it's kind of just more of a, a little less intimate, but more intimate in a different sort of way, if that makes any sense. Yeah, well, the clubs are right up close to people, so you can, like, feel you know you interact with them where festivals you're so far away with the whole barrier thing it's like mm -hmm. can you hear us out there okay maybe you can but uh they're both fun yeah, yeah. so what's like your favorite type of show then well, i like the big festivals myself i like the small like grimy clubs or theaters and stuff where uh, the whole thing sounds good and it's all part of everyone's there to listen to music you know 
Mm-hmm. You're playing at the Loft tonight with Electric Six. You've been yeah. touring with them this whole tour. Can yeah. you talk a little bit about them, being with them? Uh, they're amazing and funny, and uh, they're from Michigan, so uh, it'll be cool to play in their home state with them tonight. It's been a month-long tour, and this is the last two shows. Um, so, yeah, they're really cool guys, cool people. Cool. So how are you feeling at the end of this tour? Oh, you know, a little bit weathered from the road, but it's been fun. I think at the end of a tour, you can really feel accomplished when you look back and say, like, hey, we drove from coast to coast and up and down and all around. Um, We've been to so many new cities on this tour that we've never played before. So it's tiring, but, like, it's really encouraging, and it makes you feel really good at the end to look back and be like, we did it, you know? Cece busted her knee up, too. Oh, you know, we've had some issues. I busted my (laughs) knee. We almost got hit with a hurricane. Um, you had a spider on your drum kit. Oh, yeah. Spider on oh, my no. drum kit today. <laughs> yeah, she got a cortisone yeah. shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any issues for you? Uh, no. You know, I think. Oh, shoot. I better. Uh, I, we have two more shows left. I haven't broken a string the whole tour <laughs> or anything, so it's been good. Cool. So, what's up next for you guys? Well, we're going to release a new album next year. We have recorded it. It's uh, waiting for us back in San Diego to finish mixing and producing and. Um, once we find a good avenue to release it, it will be out there. So hopefully a lot more touring and new music. What do you look forward to with that release? Uh, well, we've been, you know, these songs that we're playing from Home Record, we've been playing for the past two years, two and a half years. So I think it'll be really nice to bring some of the new music on stage with us and to, to our fans. Yeah. Um, we have these songs that we haven't been playing, so it's like we want to incorporate them, as CC said. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to hearing them. So thank you guys for coming. Thanks Thanks. for having us. And thanks for tuning in here on 89FM, The Impact.